Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In business mathematics, let us do some example problem regarding excise duty. Example, Ahmed and company manufactures 10 quilts that is bedspread a day and uses cotton fiber for rupees 250 per kg and cotton cloth for rupees 150 per meter as input. In making one quilt, 2 kgs of cotton fiber and 5 meters of cloth are used. If excise duty on cotton fiber is 8% and on cloth it is 10% while on quilt it is 12%. Calculate the total duty paid to the government on one month when the value added by the company is rupees 500 per quilt. If the transaction is without CNVAT and with CNVAT. Let us do this problem. Input cost of one quilt we call rupees two into. on cotton fiber 250 per kg plus 5 meters of cloth with 150 per kg 150 per meter which is equal rupees 500 for cloth not 500 for uh, fiber cotton fiber plus and uh, 750 for cloth for cloth now let us calculate with C without C in that first without C in that For one quilt, we will calculate for one quilt. For cotton fiber, cost is rupees 500 and uh, <coughs> 8 percent, 8 percent of 500 equal rupees 40. Therefore, total equal rupees 540. Here, cloth rupees 750 and uh, for cloth uh, is 10 percent of uh, 10 percent of 750 equal rupees 75 therefore total rupees 800 and 25. Therefore, total for one quilt for uh, one quilt equal rupees 540 rupees 540 plus 825 which is equal rupees 1000 540 plus 825 1365 1365 rupees
value added by the company for one quilt equal rupees five hundred. Therefore, total equal rupees. 1865 duty 12% on uh, quilt equal that is 12% of 1800 equal One thousand eight hundred and sixty five equal rupees twenty three point eight zero. Now X and excise duty. Duty paid for one month month at uh, 10 quills per day because this producing 10 quills per day equal five that is not 10 quills per day for 30 days then two then uh, 40 rupees 44 cotton fiber plus 75 for, for cloth plus 223.80 for quilt so we will calculate the total things now Ten into thirty into forty plus seventy five plus two twenty three point eight zero we call five zero one six four zero. One lakh sixteen thousand forty is the duty without NVAT. Now let us calculate this with NVAT with CNVAT for one quilt. Now input cost here input cost equal 540 plus 825 540 plus 825 that is equal rupees 1365 value added by the company for one quilt is uh, rupees 500 therefore total is uh, rupees 1865 duty 12% on one 12% on quilt equal rupees that is 12% uh, of 1865 equal to 
therefore here for the total you call adding of uh, rupees 1865 plus rupees 223.80 equal 1865 plus 223.80 223.80 equal 2088.80 therefore total duty Total duty paid for one month equal ten quills per day, thirty days per month, and and duty is uh, two twenty three point. Eight zero. We'll calculate ten into thirty into two twenty three point eight zero equal rupees sixty seven thousand one forty. Now, with without C in VAT. The company has to pay one lakh and sixteen thousand forty with C and VAT. They have to pay sixty-seven thousand one forty. So, with C and VAT, the duty is lesser than without C and VAT. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.